My name's Bagsy. I'm a pro drifter and the guy behind SB Motorsport. Over the years, we've built some amazing creations like the V8 GTR and our PS13 comp car. We bring the smoke and smiles to events all around the world with a few viral sensations along the way. But now it's time for a world's first. We're putting GTR life and soul into a Navara truck. But I'm not doing this alone. I've got a great team to help me. GTR, tools, jack, wheels, fuel. I think that's pretty much everything. Let's go. Guys? Guys? Where is everyone? And some of the best partners in the industry. So buckle up, it's going to be a hell of a ride. And even I don't know how it's going to turn out. I just drive the car. Welcome to Project Navara R. It's live from Goodwood Speed Week. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Project Navara R. My name is Ian Waddington and of course I am joined by Bagsy. Bagsy, we're at Goodwood Motor Circuit for Speed Week. What an incredible pleasure it is to be here. Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, obviously we lost Festival of Speed, but we've gained Speed Week. It's gonna be an incredible event. Um, I've seen some of the cars rolling in today. I'm super excited just to watch, let alone participate. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be insane. Well look, talking about insanity, let's take a look at what's coming up on tonight's show. They've literally gone to Goodwood without me. I didn't get a message or a WhatsApp. I think they've got a WhatsApp group without me actually, because I didn't know anything about any Goodwood. Let's just get on with it. Let's just get Come there. On, get there. You can't go to Goodwood in this though, can you? No. They're just in a t-shirt and they won't even let me in. I'm only going to need some more better clothes. Um, here, look, I've got this shirt. Just put that on, it'll be fine. What size is this? Um, you're going to need more than that. I'm going to need a jacket, aren't I? Yeah. Keep your eyes out for a charity shop. Charity shop. Back in a sec. Sorted. We'll have to do. Come on, stream's starting any minute now. We're gonna be late. Coming up on uh, this month's live stream, uh, we're, I'm not in it apparently, but we're live from Speed Week with Bagsy, no Navara R, um, but there's lots of drifters. There's the drift car and of course, we're nearly there, but I believe it's already started. Hopefully we're not gonna be late. Straight down there, do a right, then a left. Just grab it, just grab it. Yeah? Well, there you go. That is uh, apparently Matt joining us, but we're missing Matt. He's not here this week. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was good word. Did, did we invite you? I, I need to stand back because this is just weird. <laughs> Evidently not. <laughs> Hi guys. That look and those trainers are not something I'd go for, but yeah. yeah well, I actually improvised, didn't I? <laughs> On the way. You're late. I know, I'm really sorry. I think somebody really told sorry, you guys. it was Goodwood Revival. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> A bit dizzy now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a green room, as you can see on the screen. Hooray! Hooray! There's no Adam, but we've got Naomi and we've got Gavin monitoring the comments, monitoring the helpline. We've got some returning guests. We've got a familiar face of George. Great to have you with us. We've got Axel with us. We've got Paul Smith. And for some reason, Martin came back as well, but we're, we're <laughs> blessed to have him. Absolutely. 
absolutely blessed. But Bugsy, you love good wood, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I have uh, a massive soft spot for good wood. Yes, you do. And you've been here many times before. This is no, by no means your debut. We've seen you. We can see, I think we can see some images of the kind of antics you've got up to here before. Yeah, I mean, it's a great pleasure and an honour, really, to be invited to Goodwood Festival Speed, which is what you're looking at now, uh, to participate in the drifting display that they have. Um, it's one of the, you know, it's one of my most favourite events of the season. And, uh, you know, it's a shame that we're not doing it this year, but we have Speed Week and... Uh, Which I think we can also see on screen cars getting ready for that. And that is looking even better. I mean, the, the variety, the sheer variety. Yeah, yeah it's an incredible um, week and I don't think we'll ever have this week again. You know, Goodwood have spoke to me and said that this would be a one-off event. Really? Um, it's, it's a combination of Festival of Speed, revival and the members meeting all rolled into one right. um, and live streamed the whole weekend so yeah a phenomenal weekend and as you said there's some incredible machinery out in the paddock there is what are you doing here so i am the official drift corner commentator yep. so um, thank you to those people that opened the door and let me into um, that position yep. that wasn't you matt so there's no, no need to well, bow your hat yeah. but um yeah um an incredible honor um i've obviously been working at um, goodwood festival speed for the last four years alongside bagsy with the gtr yep. so you know i've got to see it in all of its you know glory but never been able to get behind the camera or the microphone um mm -hmm. jared dienda normally takes that job obviously due to current circumstances yes. that isn't um, yes. available so yes. i've stepped in and took his role hopefully i can yes, do just a, close, a, good job. a close second if not edging <laughs> edging edging first yeah yeah, yeah. We're yeah. trying, we're going to try Actually, anyway. But we're you're going to be judging Bagsy, aren't you? So yeah, I'm going to be judging Bagsy and yeah. the rest of the guys on the uh, drift they, car. These course. guys here? Yeah, Martin yeah. Richards, Paul Smith, George, uh, George, Axel, and a whole host of other drivers that, yes. are, that are here. We're not going to give them all away because we want you to tune in this weekend. We do, we do. And are you feeling the pressure? Something new? Something completely new? Yeah, um, we, you know, I did Gymkhana Grid uh, in Poland oh, last year. You did, yes. Good. And uh, we did okay. Yep. Uh, you know, we got some good qualifying times. We made it through to maybe top eight or top four. Mm. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun indeed. A lot of fun. A lot of fun indeed. Now, we're about, we had this discussion earlier, we're like about, should we say nominally, like halfway through the Navarra project? Yeah, roughly, give or take. Roughly, it's kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah 50%. percent we have got, got that on tape. Yeah, so uh, we've got so it. That's <laughs> a contract. Uh, so when you get to that stage of any huge project, it's brilliant to take a step back, isn't it? Yeah. Breath of fresh air, clear the mind, look at what we've achieved and what's going to happen in the future, mm. what we're doing next. Yeah. Yeah? Why not? Why not? Yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're obviously here as well. That's another thing. We're not... This is obviously the Navara R. Yeah, but Live sadly, stream. obviously, we couldn't bring the Navara we with couldn't. us this evening. We couldn't, but because it didn't work. really fit in the room. Yeah, <laughs> does it? No, it didn't. Uh, you couldn't get it up the stairs. Yes. That was the problem. Yes. Yeah. Get it up the stairs. But we're also going to be looking back at what we've achieved and some of our, but in fact, some of one of my best bits, I'll just show you guys. This actually, I this don't. This is not the flute. I is don't it? think this can be broadcast. So if this, just, is, this is just an exclusive for us guys. If this um, is the flute. One of my favourite things um, that we've <laughs> seen on the live stream. Yeah. Is that's that actually a, on the live stream. Yeah. Yeah. So um, no it's a else, memorable moment. It's very memorable. Memorable. And for you guys at home should never see that. Is that actually I'm, on the live stream? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, going joking. to delete no, that. Oh my god. <laughs> Corbin, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Little clue there. Um, yeah, I spotted that. Um, but we are going to be looking back at some of the things that have happened yeah. on the build. We may as well start right at the beginning. Day one. When you picked up the Navara for the first time and brought it to uh, SP Motorsport, um, first we'll take a look at what that looked like. It does work. Oh, it works down the bottom. There you go. That's just like airbag. Come on, you old We're going on an adventure. Cut. Action. So I guess the question is, can we get the VR38 engine to fit in the Nissan Navara? And keep the four-wheel drive system? And put a roll cage in it? 
and some bucket seats. Uh, yeah, lots of questions that you had at that point, and what I found remarkable is you're driving at home, wondering if you can actually do the project. <laughs> driving, like I bought it. Well, when you're we doing, do? well, I guess when you're doing something that no one's ever done before, until you start actually doing it, yeah. I guess you're just sort of guessing, really, yes. uh, whether you can actually make this happen. I mean, we had a pretty good idea that we could do it, and I was confident in the boys in making it happen, but, you know, realistically, it's... It's just an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had a plan and hopefully it was going to work. Yeah, no regrets. No, no regrets. I think those questions have been answered so far. We have put a VR 38 in it and kept it four wheel drive. Bucket pretty seats. sure we've put some seats in it and I'm yeah. pretty sure I'll get a roll cage in the cab. So yeah. Okay, that's cool. So it's, it's all going great guns so far. And uh, we need to do a special happy birthday to Cooper Gloin. We do. Uh, yes. Cooper being happy the son birthday, of Ash mate. from Fleet Livery Solutions. Happy birthday to you, 13 today. Thanks for tuning Woo! in. Woo! Woo! Is it your birthday? Is it a birthday of one of your loved ones? Please get your comments in on the stream. There's going to be a whole extra strand of interactivity on today's show, which you'll find out about in just a minute, but you're going to get to put words on this screen from your phone, which is quite frightening, and which is why we also have the restricted sign on there, because it could get a little bit X-rated. So, um, so people can literally log in and type whatever they want, and it'll appear on our screen, yeah. or their screen. Yeah, and Whose good idea was that? Uh, James's. James's. Definitely <laughs> James's idea. James's. Yeah. Thanks, James. Back over in the green room, we've got Naomi and we have Gavin manning the hot desk, the Navara R helpline. How's it going over there? Yeah, we've got a few questions coming in. Uh, Steve, do you want to answer some? I mean, why not? Let's well, go for it. There's one from an unknown source. Uh, it comes up as KQ135. It just says, is Kevin Quinn a better driver than you? He is. I love Kevin. He's a great guy. He's here tonight. Kevin, where are you, bud? He's in, the, he's in the exterior green room. Oh, he's outside. He's in the exterior yeah. green room. Yeah. He's in the green room. Guys, in the green room outside, can you just give us a whoop? <laughs> see, see, there's... there's there is people. Because there is people there. <laughs> there is people in the darkness outside. Yeah. Because we're being highly responsible, there is a, a secondary green room out there. Outside. People who are even more distant, which is perfect. Yeah, and um, next, we have a question from Jack, the supercar kid. What's your favourite car that you've used for competitions? Uh, my favourite car for competitions probably so far will be my S13 from about three years ago when it had a LS3 NA V8 in it uh, uh, because pretty much it was reliable, to be honest, and it worked and we, uh, we won some events. So since then, uh, we've not had much reliability, unfortunately, but you know, hey-ho, that's how it goes sometimes, I guess. Them's the brakes. Any more yeah. questions? A lot from Kevin Quinn, to be honest. But we'll, uh, we'll pass that one. Um, let's have a look. We've got a question from... What was his name? Oh, that one there. Oh, no. From Bruce... Oh, God, how do you pronounce that? But good luck, mate. Um, is it going to be revealed at the Auto Show in January? Auto Sports Show in January. Yeah. I mean, the plan was to obviously let the public see the Navara R project for the first time uh, at Auto Sport. Whether autosport will happen or not, who knows? Uh, fingers crossed it will go ahead, but um, if I had to have a guess, I'm not sure it will. So who knows when the public will see the event, the car for the first, the truck for the first time, but we are looking forward to unveiling it soon. I think personally, the best reveal would be for uh, Goodwood Festival Speed 2021, where we unveiled the, the GTR for the first time. Mm, so maybe. Indeed. Maybe that could be the plan. There you go. So there we that go. Could yeah, be go. The one. Thanks, Gav. That could be the one. Thanks, guys. We'll come back to you. So keep those questions coming in. Keep your comments, suggestions, anything you want. And like I say, stay tuned. Get your phones at the ready because you are going to be getting really interactive very soon. But um, Banksy's had a really busy month. I know you don't. You, you're kind of chill. Yeah. He's had a very busy month. <laughs> I'm and so uh, he went to Tyre Streets UK, which I believe was filmed before, but it was released this month. So we'll take a look at it. And I think we can see on your screen now, this is what Banksy does best. He turns up late and sits in the office. Is that, is that basically what happened? At yeah, Tyre so Tyre Streets invited me down to their uh, headquarters. And uh, yeah, they gave, basically put me to work. Uh, I thought I was going down to film a video with the GTR, but actually they decided that they get me in the office, printing out there. orders, and uh, going packaging them up and sending them out to people. So yeah, great fun. And there's a there's a there's a, a cheeky little Easter egg in there that some people may spot or may not have spotted. Yeah, if you look at the invoice, to yeah. see where those tyres were uh, going. Mm. 
maybe people could let us know if they see it. Yes, yes. Send us a comment. Did you spot where those tyres were going? But they were going somewhere really fast and they were being expertly manoeuvred from the warehouse to the truck, as we can see now. Bagsy in full forklift truck action. <laughs> stunt double right we know from the goodwood promo Vlog. filming yeah. you're the stunt double i am the stunt double it's been it's been a, a well guarded secret for a, a, for many years now yeah, yeah. That i've been bagsy stunt double yeah so is it you in the clip in germany return to driftenberg with the porn i'm not gonna give that up no no i'm not actress. gonna i'm not gonna um listen i'm not gonna ruin his career you know <laughs> giving away all the secrets yeah. you don't just yeah. have to Keen eye, keen eye. Yes, keen eye. yes, it's another thing to look out for. Hmm. Um, yeah, um, so you also went to Brands Hatch. I did, yeah, we went down there for an event called Go Japan, mm -hmm. part of Time Attack UK, yep. uh, put in an awesome demo. Martin was there as well. And uh, yeah, we had some fun out on the track at Brands. Let's see what that looked like. Hey, what's up guys? We are here at Brands Hatch. The show's called Go Japan. Uh, we're here with the GTR. Really excited to be going out on track very shortly. Everyone's just getting ready now. The show is so busy. Uh, now we are at Goodwood. We if are. you hadn't realised, we are coming to you live from Goodwood. Speed Week. This is the kickoff of Speed Week. These guys are putting on a show all weekend, so you can tune in and watch that. But this is the pre-party. It's not the after-party. It's the uh, the pre-party. The pre-party. Yeah, pre this the warm -up. is the warm-up. Um, so make sure you tune into that. But we're at Goodwood, which is the home of some of the best horse and car racing the UK has to offer. Would you not say? Yeah. To World famous tracks. Go with this. I don't know Two where he's going, but tracks. just agree. If you just agree so, with him, it keeps him happy. To that end, it is time for my new game show, Horse or Horse Power. Oh, nice. Horse or Horse Power. <laughs> <sighs> he's at it again, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> where's he going with this? I mean, you put him in charge. So, I mean, I tried to get rid of him. I know we tried to get rid we of him. We even changed location. I know, and he's still found us. Okay, so, <laughs> question number one. This is, two, this is a two part question. Two, part, two, two, part two questions. Part. This is a head to head. This is you two, so you can. Uh, Me versus Ian. Yes, right. yes. Okay, so just okay. chime in, it's fastest finger first. And we can throw this open if we have. This is really successful, which I feel it's already going to be. Right. We'll throw it open and we'll have rounds with uh, people in the green room as well. So this is going to be good. So, one of the most successful horses at Goodwood's Stewards Cup was Golden Rod, winning in both 1910 and 1912. But what colour is a horse? Is a horse? No, a horse. Not a horse, whatever it is you said. <laughs> a horse. How do I enter? Beep. Yeah. A horse. Brown? Fuck it, yeah. Brown? Mm, no, sorry, I had red rum, uh, whose official colour was bay. You could have also had black beauty. Um, so, no. I'm fucking lost already. Yeah, okay. I am so uh, lost. So that's nil nil. Uh, Goodwood Speed Week was founded in 2020. Goodwood Festival of Speed was founded in 1993, but how many horses are there in the world? <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> oh, fuck it, a million. I will, is that all? <laughs> I, I will take the closest guess. So we have a million from Ian. Uh, 20, 20, tw 25 million. 25 million. Um, according to the last horse census, 60 million. <laughs> And that was horse census. That was uh, that horse or horsepower. Free, Thank you. Oh, horse. <laughs> horsepower. Um, I'm not sure. Quite, I, I, I can't see anybody watching this anymore. Is anyone even? Are we? Do we have anyone viewing this? Six people. Not and that's <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> we had a fantastic, another fantastic BDC event, didn't we? Uh, well, we had a BDC event. I don't know how fantastic it was. Anyone here have a good BDC? No. Oh. George did really well. George did really. George had a good BDC guys. Sorry, turned up. Qualified, then went home. And then when it, yeah, um, better than me. Yeah. What? What? What happened? I had a good BDC event. You had a I was good at the BDC final. Event. I was at the final. You were. I was on the podium as always. <laughs> I won every podium, every event. Really? Yeah. Of course. Wow. Wow. Uh, what, 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 I think we can have a look at you in action. It looks pretty good to me. I don't see what, what what's the issue. Yeah, Bouncy. everything was going smoothly, uh, but we just seem to have some sort of. I don't know, issue, whether it's wiring or I don't know what it is, something to do with the ECU. I haven't got a clue, to be honest, anymore. I've kind of sort of just given up with it, to be honest. It seems to be just the never ending uphill struggle to get that car to work sometimes. But uh, you look, you know, we'll, uh, we'll keep on going with it and uh, eventually, hopefully, she'll play ball. And then, uh, you know, by that point, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to compete again. Okay, and also uh, we learned some very sad news um, that Ian, you uh, tendered your resignation at that event. Yeah, um, I did. BDC. Yeah, it was, um, you know, I think a few people didn't uh, think that it was emotional or sad, but it was for me. I'd been at the British Drift Championship uh, commentating for the last five years mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I started my career as a driver in 2008 wow. with Bagsy at the first ever event. So yeah, we've been at the British Drift Championship for the last 12 years and it was sad to leave, but you know, some opportunities have opened up and um, in the way that this climate is in this country yeah. and well, the world, yeah. you know, when an opportunity comes along, you've got to take it. And so. it's fantastic. You, you got everyone's anticipation going. Yep. Everyone wants to know what the next big thing is. What's Ian's new job? And I'm so excited that you've agreed to reveal it tonight. No. <laughs> he's not going to, he's keeping us guessing. <laughs> keeping yeah, us guessing. No. Uh, my lips are sealed for uh, a while. A while, okay. A while. Future. Which is, for a while. Which yeah. is fine because we could maybe help determine his fate, I don't know. But we can all guess what's Ian's new job. You can get involved as well. I don't know if we've got a graphic on the screen where we can show. Okay, so you need to go to slido.com. Can I do this now on my phone? It's, it's fine. <laughs> um. it's okay, we're just, we're just live broadcasting. I think online. Yes, we are live right this second online. So, so sorry. go to slido.com. I'm going to do this myself. Okay, slido.com. <laughs> we just had a visitor, that's what it was. It's just a visitor. Don't worry about that. The, uh, did you, we're supposed to be out by eight. Is that what she yeah, said? Yeah, she's like, you've got to go. We've got to go. Got to okay, go. so we're not going anywhere. We've got no time for so this go part So you go to slido.com, you can go there now and enter code 430056. Or don't, yeah. Or don't, go. or don't go there. Right, and when you get there, it will say, what do you think Ian's new job is? So I could put... Uh, um, I mean, be careful. Okay, so I've put one in there, and can we see it on the screen? There's going to be more than your one. I can already. Wow, there's a few there already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Buy can, me. Can already assume. Uh, there we go. Okay, so they're coming in thick and fast. Oh, it's, it's working. So that's good. Thanks, wow. guys. That was a great test. Wow. Finger flute students, a good one. Uh, I didn't do any of the test driver ones. for test driver Top Gear is is probably is my good shout? priority that at is the a moment. Really, really I am working good on that. Shout. I am working on that at the moment. That Nose is a good shout. hockey. Uh, I'm game for anything, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> and horse riding, uh, I've, I've rode a horse there you once. Go. They're coming it... in thick and fast. Guys, you can get your words on the screen. If they're too ginger rude, ninja. they ginger will be blocked. Ninja. I mean, so that's... That, I already am a ginger ninja. There's, 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 there is that, yeah. That's slido.com and uh, go to that code, which I've already 
forgotten, but it was on the screen. <laughs> so if you get there, you get there. Anyway, back to business. Uh, we've probably shared the link in the comments as well. And we've shared the link in the comments. Amazing. And the comments are also coming in. You can still comment on the stream and put these guys to work. But we're going to give them a little break. We're going to look at... So we've seen the Navarra arrived, right? Yes. We're going to look at the drastic appearance change it had within hours of arriving. Um, this, is, this is quite impressive. Um, let's take a look. I've rewritten the script. I have it's just awesome. I'm rewriting it on the fly. It's fine. happened that was quite uh, impressive it was very um, quickly but done. in and amongst that there was you know the SB Motorsport one point used vehicle check you know when you get by used vehicle and there's a there's a check mm -hmm. it, the one point check Corbin took care of that Yeah, I believe. It hooked second gear, that's all you need to know. I believe it, I believe it passed the test. Right, we're going to throw it open. We have got the guys in the green room, and we've got, who have we got on? Oh, actually, no, we've got um, Gavin, Gavin and Naomi, who are manning and womaning. Yeah, we've got <laughs> the chat room. Well, there's a chat room. Gavin looks What's so excited for that microphone. <laughs> Dangerous. You don't know where it's been, mate. Um, There's a very good question. Uh, I don't know if he watches your live as much. It's Aaron Dennis. He just wants to know what engine are you putting in there? <laughs> That's a great question. That is a really good question. Mate, thank you. Yeah, it's a really good question. If you didn't know, if you've just tuned in. If you've just tuned in. Um, a VR 30. So what it is, is we're putting the life and soul of a Navara into a GTR. Which is... <laughs> it's going to be, be a, awesome. a 2.5 straightforward diesel. That probably might have been right. easier, to be honest. Yeah. Just yeah. no way. <laughs> Nothing's easy at this point. Guys, so Nothing's we've got you, Axel. Anyway. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, I'm good. Axel! So are you planning on fitting a tow bar? And if so, what are you planning on towing? I've, I'm very excited to fit a tow bar on it. Uh, I, you know, I want to be able to tow trailers with it, go and do all sorts of stuff. But I think it'd be really cool to see the GTR on the trailer with Navara towing it. Mm. I think it would be really be very cool. So you, really you'd have all of something in the other thing and then some of that in the other thing. So it'd be cool. Well, would you let Gav drive it? Absolutely. 100% not. <laughs> <laughs> Axel, uh, any, have you been thinking about, you've been watching the project unfold. Have you been thinking about oil? Oil. I always think about oil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Obviously, Axel is one of our partners as well on the project. Uh, he represents Driven Racing Oil. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been using it for a number of years now. And uh, yeah, we're very lucky to have them on board, as well as driving in Drift Cup and the BDC. Yes, yes, indeed. Um, any, any comments from you tonight? No. George no. Barkley? Good. No, great. no George, not really. George has been very quiet so yeah. far this evening. Yes. It's almost yeah. worrying how quiet he's actually been. Um, saving something up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something's, something's definitely stewing. But yeah. in good time, my friend. Probably that McDonald's good he had 30 seconds before going yeah. online. Yeah. There was burgers had, but I'm, I'm, I'm just biding my time. I'm ready. Don't okay. worry about it. Okay. It's we'll coming. Be, we'll be waiting. We'll be waiting. Martin and Paul over on the back row of our socially distanced green room here at Goodwood. Martin, how's things been at home? Everything all right? All good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I noticed... Tess, Tess has left me. I noticed... <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you were alone tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Sadly. She's gone to play so the finger flute. <laughs> <laughs> They've been practicing finger fluting since the last live, to be fair. I really? I have a very yeah. sore finger. <laughs> <laughs> but you do it so well, I hear. <laughs> I can play, uh, what's... Uh, Chinese chopsticks on the finger flute now. <laughs> Pretty good at it. Nice. <laughs> wow. He's a uh, professional finger fluter. Wow. And a word from Paul. Are you looking forward to taking on 
Bagsy in the uh, drift car now. Yeah, no, looking forward to it. Um, yeah. yeah, no, it's. Uh, I've not driven the car for over a year, but um, yeah, looking forward to getting back out there. And I don't know whether Bagsy will be any competition, but these other guys will be. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> Thanks for coming. If he hasn't driven this car for a year, that means he's definitely going to break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how's the uh, Ian job situation going? Okay, it's growing nicely. Kung Fu Fighter. Yeah, mm. see, someone's been, someone's been uh, watching the videos, the famous Kung Fu Fighting video, yeah. Nice. Take the Irish on. Uh, yeah. See, look, last time I took the Irish on in a drinking game. Uh, Did that go well? I had to I be revived. That, I, I, I had reckon, to be I revived. That was yeah. from Kevin Quinn. Yeah. I reckon that was a Kevin Jet Quinn. Jet Wheel and Tire Apprentice. That, I know who that is from as well. That's Bert. <laughs> yeah. That's from Bert, isn't it? Are you going to be Bert's apprentice? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. Nice fade, bro. Yeah. Yes. Can I just say? Go on. Can I just say? Big up to my barber. Adam Cutthroat at Boy About Town in Hornchurch because he fucking hooks me up with the <laughs> sickest fade. <laughs> if swear you do to say God. so yourself. Bagsy and George can't comment because they are bald as fuck, but just seriously. <laughs> wow. Wow, just say it. Just, I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there. Just got, putting it out got there. all the fade. I've just got, I've got all the fade. All yeah, the fade. Just, yeah. yeah. A shout out to Boy About Town for the uh, hookup. If you on say the... his name one more time, you're going to get a free haircut or what? <laughs> well, um... <laughs> Uh, and that's what I'm going for. <laughs> uh, uh, a few questions over yes. with Naomi. Ash, Ash from Fleet Livery Solutions has asked, George Barkley, did you bring any chicken this time? Okay, pigeons. Chicken. Pigeons. Isn't it pigeons he brings? Pretty pigeons. Well, I had chicken nuggets. There was chicken nuggets had. Um, I had a chicken sandwich and then I had a couple of Gav's chicken nuggets. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want any updates on my food and what I'm eating chicken wise, uh, Twitter, hit up hashtag. my Instagram, George Barkley one five seven, and I'll, you know, find me some questions. And I'll answer all your chicken questions that you like, and i you know, I'll throw out some advice if you feel that what you're doing at home isn't, you know, exactly right. Come to me, I'm your man. <laughs> uh, awesome. I think I think somebody mentioned earlier the possibility of Top Gear uh, for Ian. Uh, I think. What's the <laughs> wow. I think <laughs> I've not fucking run anywhere in a long time, George. <laughs> See? <laughs> I mean, look, look. <laughs> I, I like Chris Harris, but if his job is going, I'll take it. Yeah. Happily, yeah. happily take his job. I don't know what you did with the car. That's you on Top Gear driving that car. Is there any more? Uh, not yet. Can no, we, sit, gonna, James, can we gonna... see it one more time? I'm can we see it again? Honestly. Can we see it again? It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> that was pre pre fade. That was pre. That was yeah, COVID. Where's, that was... where's your boy about where's town now? <laughs> yeah. This was this was COVID. This was pre. This was like mid COVID. <laughs> pre. This was pre. Yeah. So it's not Top Gear. It's not top gear. It's not, though, top, it's gear. not top gear. Keep your guesses coming in. Maybe that suggestion will turn into maybe you will preempt fate and it might be what you end up doing. Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? Hopefully. Meanwhile, we are at Speed Week at Goodwood. You're not and you can't come, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Sad fact is, you can't come to Goodwood this year. We're here and you're not. But don't worry. I don't mean, I don't mean that to sound like wow. a brag. Um, <coughs> anyone wants to swap, you can. Um, but you, Bagsy, have done us a service. You've taken people around the grounds of Goodwood to look at some of the sites and see what they can't see this year, haven't you? You have, yes. yeah, we did a little walk around earlier yeah. and uh, just to give everybody an idea of what Speed Week is gonna look like from a Drift Karna perspective. So here's what you're missing out on. Hey, what's up guys? We are here at Goodwood Speed Week. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to be here with us. So I decided I'm gonna take you on a quick tour in the paddock, show you all there is to see so that you get a behind the scenes view of what's going on at Speed Week. Cool, so let's check it out. Dum -de dum Plenty of space over here for some refreshments throughout the weekend. Goodwood always go the extra mile to make sure they look after everybody when they're on site. So looking forward to getting some uh, tea and cream cake at some point. So what's known as the normal paddock is here. This is where uh, the pits are normally when you're here at Goodwood. They've obviously extended it quite some amount. You know, it's a lot longer and a lot wider so they can fit 
I think it's 400 cars that are competing here over the, over the three days of Speed Week, so it'll be pretty cool. Ranging from stuff you'll see at Revival, stuff from Goodwood Festival of Speed, drift cars, Formula One cars, and just about everything in between, so it's gonna be pretty cool. So here is the Jackie Stewart Pavilion. This is where we're gonna be doing the Navara, our live stream from tonight. And uh, yeah, we'll take you up there for a quick look. So this is the balcony. Uh, obviously this is the track, this is Goodwood. All the cars are loading in, lots of big trucks arriving with some really, really nice, stunning, beautiful cars. Uh, big Speed Week banner. Yeah, it's all coming together, it's looking awesome. Uh, let's go and have a quick look at the uh, Drift Karna track. So essentially this is the uh, start line and finish line for Goodwood Circuit. We're going to be starting the Drift Karna just over here, coming straight down the, uh, well, the wrong way down the straight into the chicane, and that is uh, our first obstacle. So here is the Goodwood chicane. Uh, we'll be coming in, going around the outside, the wrong way of the track normally, coming around this for a full loop round, and then we're heading out what's normally known as the ambulance entrance and exit for the track, which leads us in to the big Driftkana car park. So in here is the Driftkana car park. Uh, obviously, when it's cleared out, there's gonna be a pretty cool wall ride and there's going to be a big uh, donut section as well. So in here is gonna be pretty hectic. Looking forward to uh, getting to rip this on Saturday. So as we exit the car park, we're coming into what's normally known as the entrance and exit. We're gonna be coming through here, doing another 360 and exiting out towards a Goodwood shop. So the barrels are gonna be set up in the middle here. They're gonna be with proximity sensors and they're going to be judging how close the barriers we get and lighting up as we go around them. As we exit this section, we're going straight back out towards the track and across the finish line. So that's a full lap of the track here at Goodwood for Driftkana. Looking forward to ripping it on Saturday and Sunday. Make sure you check it out. A lap of the Driftkana track with Bagsy. That took just over three minutes to do a lap of Driftkana track. Uh, I don't know if we've made it clear, but Ian, you, you could be the difference between Bagsy winning or losing. I could, Can yeah. Can you explain I could. that? Uh, yeah, so nobody knew up until probably about 25 minutes ago that I actually have quite a big influence on the driver's scores or times. Mm -hmm. So they have, as Bagsy explained, um, proximity sensors throughout the circuit. Um, they're obviously timed from the start line to the finish line. The closer they get to those proximity sensors, that takes time off of their overall time. And then the more flare or show or drifting that they put into it, mm -hmm. uh, in my books, um, then I get to take time off their score. So I get up to 20 seconds to take off their time. Okay. So if they put in a real shit run yep. and just grip You're the car up guys. and they just drive around like a normal yeah. Jim Carner ish style, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll score zero. Mm -hmm. But if they put on a real good show, yeah. I get Flair. to take 20 seconds off their time. So yeah, um, 50 quid a go for 20 seconds, okay. slip in the back pocket. Typical Ian, always looking for the quick buck. Yes, of course. Yes, yeah. But you've, I, no, I've just had an idea, literally off the fly. But could we come up with a word that you need to sneak into the commentary? If we could come up with a word. <laughs> we play this all if, the time. If, we have this you game, <laughs> we have this game a okay. lot. Okay. I play this game a lot and yeah, and some of the words I've managed to squeeze in are stupid, Yeah. Um, career defining. Is there any way you could get plum bob into drift commentary. <laughs> this is a pretty big weekend for me because this is live on ITV4 and 1 over yeah. the weekend. So I don't yeah. really want to ruin that opportunity. But did you, if did I could get Plum Bob in there, I'll get it in there. Did you, you know, you said you were going to put in a good word for. Uh, so and I gave you my showreel. Yeah, you I said gave you them were your business to card. O'Leary or something. Yeah, I, I gave your business card to the production company and yeah. they, they put it in the bin. I don't know if that's where oh. they file stuff. Oh, that's not good, is it? But, and I said Matt that's McCallum and they just kind of giggled like a group of kids. Really? Yeah. Really? Oh, that's distressing. Sorry. Um, you have done a bit of uh, 
Kana before, haven't you? I have. I think oh. we can see some examples of your work. Thank you very your much. Your handiwork and your footwork on the screen. So you've, you've done this around the world at various tracks. Yeah, I various... mean, I've been lucky to participate in uh, Jim Kana Grid uh, for a number of years now. It's took us from Santa Pod to Johannesburg in South Africa, uh, to Poland, to Greece. Uh, it's been awesome. Uh, this is me doing a demo run right now in the GTR, taking some media around for a ride. Um, we actually competed in my PS13 uh, Nissan for the actual competitions. In but, Poland? Uh, in Poland, yeah. yeah. But it, and it was a lot of fun. You actually did really well in Poland. You, you actually did really well in Poland, didn't you? You sound so shocked. Where are you going with this? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Why does this always... <laughs> you were weird before. Look at this. Honestly. Oh, seriously fast, what's happening? What? That's <laughs> what is, is that wrong? You top qualified. You must be happy with how things are going. I wasn't like, what, is that wrong? <laughs> I'm not shocked. I just thought that I'm shocked. <laughs> what, what am I, see, you could give me some tips. I'm just trying to interview the guy that top qualified and look at what I get. Yeah, I mean, your, your choice of words was... Uh, it's just never straightforward with Matt, that's the problem. It's always no, he was very straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too straightforward for the presenting job. Okay, okay. Lesson learned there, I yeah. guess. But I'm sure you... Do you yeah, you're going to do... He's going to do great, isn't he? We're yeah, he's going to do good. great. He's going to do great. I'm, I'm going to be watching from home because I'm not invited. Um, back at the Navarra build, uh, we entered the measuring phase. This is, a, this, is a, this is an interesting one, isn't it? Measuring is very important, um, and we can see that now. After all the work of tearing everything off the Navarra chassis, the real work of incorporating the GTR bits like the engine and subframe begins. And mainly, that means measuring measuring, marking and measuring, measuring and marking, levelling and marking, measuring and levelling, levelling and measuring. Seems like a distant memory now, doesn't it? It's very no. important though. It's no, very, it doesn't seem important. like a distant memory. Seems like just yesterday I was stuck. Definitely was yesterday. Machine. Didn't come to work yesterday. Didn't go to work yesterday. Definitely but was no. too busy to come to work yesterday. I was at Goodwood yesterday. Were you? Yeah, yeah I was Did here. they get you doing the measuring and the marking? No, no, I was filming um, an intro for the uh, Drift Corner event. Oh, so, yeah. were you? Yeah. Priorities. Oh, priorities. Nice. My priorities were way, yeah. way offline. Yeah, I'm really happy for It's because he's self-employed, he can do what he wants. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, I am. If anyone wants to give me a job, yeah, yeah. I'm free. I'm free market now. Free. That's free cheap. So um, guys, keep your comments coming in. There's two ways to interact with us. There's in the comments below where you can see what each other's saying. And there is by going to slido.com, entering the code 43056. Honestly, this isn't a weird scam. Um, this is literally It takes a way. your bank details. Don't go on there. <laughs> Do not go on there. It's a this way is, for you uh... to comment what you think Ian's new exciting job is. But... Let's just, for this moment, focus on the stuff that's coming in. Over in the green room, we've got Naomi and Gavin. Mike Ewett, sorry if I said that wrong. Bagsy, did you enjoy your road it trip to Bonnie, like Scotland, bit. with the Crusade guys? Would you do the NC500, which I believe is a route around the north of Scotland? Uh, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, the Crusade trip was a, you know, it was a good laugh. It made, it, well, it, remi it reminded me why I... Uh, loved cars. In fact, we're going to look at some of that in a bit. Well. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Well, it reminded me why I loved uh, cars from uh, you know from the second I started driving them, hanging out with my friends, and mm -hmm. yeah, I would happily go back to Scotland and spend some more time there. Fantastic. Um, what else? We, I think got something. Oh, Gavin's got something. Well, yeah, we've got one from SLM underscore Golf Mark Four. Would you? Yeah, SLM. Would you ever use the GTR for a round of BDC or Driftmasters? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Uh, because anything you drive at BDC breaks and is wrong. Oh, so wow. why, why would you take... That's very deep, Matthew. That, that deep. cuts very deep. deep. Uh, we'll move on. Can I just ask one more if that's all right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, moving on. Um, okay. no, I don't you, think we've got time. What, yes, uh, there we go. We time. <laughs> yeah. What are you guys saying on screen? What do we think Ian's big new job is? Remember, he's self-employed. He can do what he likes. Midget stripper. Milkman. Um, I mean, I'd be a fast milkman, especially in that GTR. So if you want uh, to second any of these, 
just type it as well, and that will make Only that fans. comment get bigger. What's, I mean, what's, I only, mean, what's Only Fans? Only Fans is. Um, what is Fucking no, I need to I have to just be careful and make sure I don't get myself in trouble here. Uh, Do you what know is it? OnlyFans? Sub subscription OnlyFans? service. <laughs> yeah. uh, right. You can earn a lot of money out of it. I hear you can. I saw a program. Yeah, you, you, you know all about it. Uh, is that that one you showed me on your phone the other day? Shut up, shut up, Ian. Yeah, I thought what it was. What is it? Shut it's five ninety nine a month or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> what? Depends what, what, what the category is, apparently. Cars and that. Yeah, cars. Taxi stunt double. I mean, listen. That, yeah, we, oh, look at it. That's, that's not a off. new job. That's the problem. This fifth is just gear, you know, top, fifth gear T boy. Fifth gear T boy. T -boy. George Barclay's fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> Horse I mean, riding instructor. The, the fluffer that takes a lot of fluffing. It's all about the fade. Writing invites to Luke Wooden. I, I would get, I mean, if it was down to me, Luke, I would hook a brother up. Yeah, just saying. Too. He stood second step on the podium the other weekend, so I'd hook him up. Me, me too, we did try. We did try. I'm interested to hear about all that. We, me and James don't get invited to very much. Uh, uh, there is a, another, another possibility for Ian's job. Is it to do with cooking? Uh, I do like a bit of Bake Off, as you can oh, tell. Oh, perhaps. There we go, see? <laughs> see? <laughs> I, I, I like a bit of Bake Off. <laughs> Why is he... <laughs> so where, um, where I'm is, so where glad. Is, where is Paul Hollywood's other hand? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Paul Hollywood paid me a lot of money for that photo. <laughs> That's amazing. I got a lifetime supply of bake yourself rolls from Paul Hollywood for that photo. So, brilliant. There we go. So, yeah, slido.com. Get your suggestions in for what you think Ian's big new career is. But we'll look at what he was doing in the past, which was fabricating. Yeah. Very important stage uh, where you take all the bits off and then you measure and then you actually start to make it into something new. Don't yeah. You? Let's, let's, let's take a look. I'm going to flex a ruler across it and see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm there. Danny! Sweating. I'm going to heat it up and bash it, eh? I'm going to heat it up and dress it in, so it like... Do you know what I mean? No, I don't either. Spot on, I mean, like. Oh, she's still too tight. She wants another Nats cock off of her. And I've already showed you guys my favourite moment so far. Do you have any, anything stand out so far? Something like potentially you're the most proud of that you've achieved or biggest saving corner cut or I don't know anything that you kind of go yeah we nailed that part of it um, I think my favorite part so far was when we realized that the cab the electrics worked independently from the chassis yeah I think that saved us a lot of time mm -hmm. um, but the, my favorite bit that the guys have done is probably the turrets I think they've done a I think they nailed that the front and rear turrets to call some the suspension in and everything and yeah. Uh, yeah yeah I think that looks really really cool yeah I'm really proud of everything that me and Corbin have done, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm not going to fuck around and lie. <laughs> I, I, I'm just, uh, up, yeah, I, I've, I think that me and Corbin have, you know, probably exceeded ourselves. Um, when we got into it, we realised how much hard work it was mm. um, and what was involved. And I think, you know, I think even Corbin would turn around and say, you know, he's happy with where we're at and what we've achieved. And, yeah. You, know, yeah. you know, it's a, a big step, you know, getting yeah. that to where it is now. Corbin's, uh, Corbin's. I not, miss Corbin. He's not with us tonight. No, I miss Corbin. I don't know because I. He, don't, my phone just doesn't. Don't show my, that. No, no, but again. You know when I call, I, I can't. Just can you get through to him when you call him? Yeah, every time. Yeah, it just I when I phone him, he just never connects. I don't know. It's, mm. it's strange. It's, it's weird. Very strange. You did take some time off though, didn't you, in September? And as we've heard, you went on a crusade. I did. Yeah, we went on. Uh, the first ever We Crusade road trip. It was from Essex to Edinburgh. Um, and, you know, it was me and two friends that decided we were going to 
start a company and a uh, you know a road trip in particular that we wanted to do and uh, yeah just get us back into what you know we remember is why we loved cars and what got us into cars and that was hanging out with friends um, and going on trips together so yeah we decided to head from Essex stopped over in Sheffield on the first night and then heading up to Edinburgh and uh, yeah it was a lot of fun. Genuinely the start of something really exciting but also something that people can actually genuinely get involved yeah, with. You, you invite go, people you, to come. You can go to the website now, wecrusade.com, and you can uh, you know, check out what we get up to, and you can also book on to the next trip, which is in December. Right, there's just another one. It's just launched, mm -hmm. yep. Uh, it's, from, uh, it's from Brighton to Bristol. And, uh, or yeah, Bristol good. to Brighton. Or Bristol to Brighton. It's going to be a lot of fun. Don't get that wrong, because if, on day one, if you end up at the wrong location. Can we just get confirmation? Yeah, what way is it, Lee? He knows what he's talking about. If you want to take part in that, it's going to look possibly like this or possibly even more awesome. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Maybe you should come on the next one. Yeah, maybe. Not in that fucking Navarro. <laughs> we might be there. He has to bring something cool. <laughs> Keep your comments coming in. There's still time left. Any question you want will be answered. Uh, we're not scared. Just anything you want to ask. Thanks, yes. Apart from that, uh, Gav and uh, Naomi are over there manning the help desk. Uh, let's hear from them. I'm not sure we should go back to Gav, to be honest. Uh, well, lucky this is my department, used to stand there. Um, next, from Spencer Peacock Racing, it's a question for Martin, actually. If you was to build a project like the Navara, what would it be to rival Steve's build? Oh, oh, do you wow. know what? We, do you oh. know what? We've actually spoke about this in the workshop of some future stuff that's going on. So, yeah, be, this would yeah, be Yeah, my, my mind's always active with what, you know, if budget allowed um, and I got the chance to do a cool project... <laughs> Like what would I build? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a really awkward press conference. <laughs> Hi, Mum! I'm on TV, look! <laughs> it's okay, actually. <laughs> this is all giving him more time to think what, <laughs> yeah, what he's going to build, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> what, would you, what would you build? What would Martin build? What would Martin build? Uh, I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that oh, was so so nice. Nice. <laughs> wow. Wow. After all that, Martin, well done. Yeah, mate. There's, there's, there's lots of <coughs> chassis, cars. Would it be a drift Fair car? Well. Would it be something else? Um, yeah, I've the Alfa Romeo. Julia, is it? Gilia? Julia. Yeah. yeah, Julia. I'd love to build one of them as a full-on competition drift car. So, I suppose that would be a project, yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thanks, Martin. We'll just pass the microphone back to the help desk. COVID. Wow. <laughs> oh, I, 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 um, anyway, sorry. Um, I've got a question here. Steve, why did you decide to go four-wheel drive and not go rear-wheel drive? Um, <laughs> why is that funny? I was just like you, George. Um, I decided to go four-wheel drive because the obviously the GTR as factory is four-wheel drive um, and we've got a few rear-wheel drive cars already that can drift and I wanted something that we could do different things with. Mm. Fantastic question. Fantastic. We've only got time for one more and then we have to press on because we've got something very exciting coming up. There's a lot of pressure. Um, Teresa Trinder. I thought I said oh, Tinder no. then, sorry. Good old Teresa. <laughs> go on, Teresa. Uh, it says, hi, Steve and Ian. Chris wants a tea. Awesome. A tea. Okay, thanks, Teresa. Cup of tea. 
Don't get that one. Don't get that one. Maybe, maybe, she wants, maybe she wants a cup of tea. I'll have some cake if she's making cake. We she know doesn't. you love cake. You love cake. <laughs> <laughs> this is COVID. All right, this is COVID. This COVID-19 is... pounds. Gav, you can't say anything, all right? FLS wrapped it Yeah, they did. They did. Big up FLS. Okay, it's time for another round of... Not horse again. or horsepower. Horse or horsepower. Can I have the mic? Oh. Uh, and our guests on this edition of Horse or Horsepower will be Axel and George. Welcome along. Guys, it is again fastest finger chirp first, so please don't hog the microphone. If one of you knows the correct answer, please just shout it out and we will all pay you due respect. Question number one. In 2019, Stephen Bagsy Biagioni drove the hill climb at Goodwood Speed Week. No one thought to record the time. However, a stock GTR R35 is made up of 26,264 parts. How many parts is a horse made of? Six. Mm, okay, we'll go for the closest. What have you got, Axel? Um, seven. <laughs> Not a lot. Seven. Seven. Okay, seven. Well, you know. Okay, well, Axel's the winner of that particular round. Because... No, it's not. No. Body, one. Four legs, five. Tail. Well... What about head? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> George hasn't had a lot of head, head recently, so he forgets about it. Not about head. <laughs> Damn it. You always forget about head. Damn it. He always forgets about the head. He gets so excited. Selfish. I have, I'm sorry, I have to go on what's written down here, and these were written by... Next question, Matt, come on. By a do no, well, the answer is 200... By a doctor? Yes, 205 bones, skin, and four feet. So that's 210 parts of horse. Axel okay. the dishwasher. Next. <laughs> okay, question number two. Olympic cyclist turned racing driver Chris Hoy. He's done some Kana, hasn't he? Has, he? Yeah, he has, yeah, he he has done some Kana. Uh, he famously missed the Festival of Speed in 2015 due to a vomiting bug. But... Bad times. If you could strap a horse into a supercar and take it up the hill climb, would it get car sick? No. Okay. I'll have to go with yes. <laughs> okay, well, I can reveal that it's one all in that case because horses are unable to vomit. Of course. Yeah. Uh, they, in fact, horse. have... Of horse. <laughs> Of horse. Yes, yes, they do, in fact, have a band of muscle around the esophagus yeah. that is so strong, it's more likely to have its... What? I, I just don't even know where this is going anymore. Its oh, stomach right, right. is more likely you guys to burst this? than for it huh? to vomit. How do you guys not know this? And that's... We do research, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Genuine research. Uh, thank you. Not anymore. Uh, that was horse or horsepower. Horse! Horsepower! <laughs> And now I'll ask the boss if we can have one more round of that at the end of the show. I'm not sure what he's, where he stands on that at the moment, but uh, we'll, we'll see. How are we getting on in the green room over there? Um, I've got one from Warren from Essex Bodies. He's asked Bagsy if you could wish Lewis and Brad Kent good luck this weekend at Donny, Donnington and cheer, cheers from Essex and Kent Motorsports. Oh, well, there you go. Well, you've pretty much done it You've done it. You've done yeah. it, yeah. You've yeah. Done would it, you, you second that? I would second, second that, yes. yes. Good luck to the lads. Yes. from uh, Essex Bodies this weekend. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, Brilliant. We, what we'll do is we'll come back to them in a moment, but as the build progressed and we started to see the front end coming together, uh, it got exciting and we started talking turbos, didn't we? We did. With Mike Walton. If you put them side by side, you can make the pipe work nice and simple and easy this side and then you can replicate it the other side, but in a mirror image. So you don't have to compromise uh, flow or, or anything really to do as far as the turbo is concerned as far, and in uh, manifold manufacturing, you can literally do exactly what you want. You don't have to roll one one way and one the other way. And we're even further along than that now, aren't we? I mean, it's really coming together. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, we're looking forward to getting the, uh, chassis and the engine and the body and everything over to Mike very soon and letting him uh, have his wicked way with the manifolds and the exhaust system. Let's check in with you guys. What have you been saying you think Ian's next big job is going to be? Because remember, he's, wow, okay. <laughs> he's unemployed. 
No, no, he's not, not unemployed. He's self-employed. <laughs> sorry, he's uh, yeah, no, he's self-employed. Take Nose the model. Irish on a drinking. I'm definitely not going to take the Irish on a drinking game. That is way out the window. I tried that before and it, I failed. Uh, Bagsy That's... makes the tea for me. Ah. So Bagsy's actually my tea boy. Okay. Occasionally. Uh, okay. Bagsy's... Rat, you're a rat catcher, apparently. I am a rat catcher. Rat catcher. Nose hockey. Does that say? <laughs> Room one three five cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, what's, what's I mean, mean, if you was on the crusade trip, <laughs> if you was on the crusade trip, you would know all about the hoovering that went on in 135. So, there we go. I'm not getting into that. There we go. Um, none of these, weirdly, none of these uh, suggestions seem to be around broadcasting, which is what you're basically. Yeah, I mean, obviously everyone's media, just taking the piss, Matt, but... No, 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 some of these I think are quite successful. <laughs> We're like in the corner, it's crying. There's, there's <laughs> things happening off screen that we shouldn't talk about. Hello to everyone outside in the outdoor green room. Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> They've literally froze. That was, yeah. froze out there. That was just somebody cleaning out there. Um, but there is a possible broadcast. Was it Homes Under the Hammer? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, what's happened to his forehead? Yeah, what happened to my forehead? It looks like uh, my brain's exposed. It, uh, that's Photoshop. That's it. I. I mean, if if you had hair like that, you'd like to get fingered, George. <laughs> I like the fact you painted your nails as well. Yeah. Good. What's yeah. Yeah, the forehead is, sure. look, sure. Gat, are sure. you any good at Photoshop? Because Photoshop's Because Matt's not. <laughs> okay. yeah. That's it, called the clone tool, and if you clone the wrong bit, it, it, that's what happens. What do you clone? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's okay like <laughs> 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 no, I like that, I'm into that. Listen, if, if they want to give you a job on, on Star, Star Trek, Trek, I would be fucking up for that. Yeah, I know, right? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a lovely time. And we have had some highs on this project, haven't we? A lot of lows, though. A lot of lows, but let's go for the highs. So this is one of my... This is, this is, my, is that from your ass, Matt? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not touching that bottle. I'll take this to Corbin. I don't want to touch it. I don't know where it's come from. Okay, well, I'll put it here. I'll give I you a shout when I need it applying. Okay, <laughs> we'll be round. Did you, get, did you get round to apply it? Well, he's still not. Answered. I've literally just tried again, he's not answering. Corbin, yeah. are you all right? Just send me a, one of them drop call things just so I know you're okay. <laughs> Has he even got your number? No. He blocked him. Blocked me, didn't he? <laughs> blocked me. But we have had some real last, but like you referred to, there's been some lows. Yeah, a lot of lows. A yeah. lot of lows. A lot of lows. Yeah, a lot and of it's lows. It's been tough, hasn't it? It's been, yeah, it's been a lot of hard work. Um, there's been a lot of downtime and... Yeah, look, it was tougher than what probably everyone thought it was going to be, but we got through it and we did it. It's important, there. isn't it, when, when things get tough that we talk about it as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah. it up inside. No, no, you've got and, to get it out. And I think this is a brilliant display of that. You know, we're going backwards here. <laughs> Stop filming me. I just don't want to grind anymore. Stop filming me. Oh, fucking hell. Stop filming me, Ben. Fucking awkward one, isn't it, this one? I can't even fucking talk now because you frustrated me. Oh, for fucking fuck's sake, man. So, the last round of the. <laughs> so, the last lap of the track at Scotland, uh, unfortunately, we broke the clip that holds the rocker on uh, in the cylinder heads. And uh, yeah, the rocker failed, which meant we were uh, having major issues and the car just didn't want to run very right. So, you ain't got a clue, have you? I took the measurement for a wrong place, so uh, you fucking scrap that then. You have zero idea what you're doing. F*** off! We might be fucking 20 mil out over here. Why are you filming me still? Genuinely stirring stuff. Tough times. Really tough. Mm. But we're coming through, aren't we? Getting, coming through the other side. We're getting for it, I would say. It's not it. coming. Yeah. Cause, getting Because that would be awkward. Okay. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you feeling overall good with the, the project and the build? And yeah, the, so and far so good. Yeah. I'd say it's getting there. It's been, you know, highs and lows. It's been tough. 
Yeah. Uh, watching the boys uh, hard at work is hard for me. Yeah. But uh, you know, I get through it. You know? And the, the, the so the project and the build and the, the and the live broadcast they've all exceeded your expectations. Some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily sure these live broadcasts are going the way I planned them. Well, uh, Matt, or the way I asked you to plan them. But you know, we're well, here. We're live. I've got some friends here with us. Drinking beer. We're having beers, yeah, there's beers. At least, and at least I made an effort. Yeah, you did make a... We tried to get, we tried yeah. to evade him, but... You Stole know. someone's hat. I think James dropped a pin and was like, we're here. This is where we're at. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah, that did happen, yeah. But their opinion doesn't matter. It's your opinion that I really care about and that really matters. And you have been commenting in your droves support for these live streams. And no, they haven't. But, guys, what have we got over in the green room? Spencer Peacock Racing again. Uh, oh, regarding nice the chassis you. modifications, what com competitions are you able to compete in it? Oh, that is a tough one. Uh, as far as I'm aware, with all the necessary safety, safety stuff that we're putting into the Navara, we should be able to compete in most things. Most things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We should be um, able to you know, Bearing in mind the truck's only really built for demos and fun events like mm -hmm. Goodwood Festival of Speed and Speed Week, Jim Carner Grid and that sort of stuff. So realistically the truck's not been designed around competing. So you know, for what we're going to do with the truck it's more fun and demonstrations. Passenger yeah. rides. Passenger four rides. Four-wheel drive. Some track days, maybe a little bit of circuit racing. Should be fun. Yeah. And towing stuff. Towing and stuff. Towing stuff, yeah. 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 Going Definitely. to B&Q. Definitely. Costco's. Get some Go to Costco's. Costco's and get lots Costco's. of Corona. Haribo. Yep. And sweets. Mm. Keep your comments coming in. There's a little bit of time left on the show. What have we got? Well, very important from Kevin Quinn in the outside green room. He's asking you to turn the heating on, please. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, you right, bud? Kevin? Yeah. You okay, mate? He's, a, he's barely alive. Yeah, yeah. He's Good to see you, mate. Thanks for coming. So yeah, like, <laughs> we've had, we should have done a rotation. Because obviously um, yes. there's the indoor guys who are, but we're at capacity, so the outdoor guys are out there. Freezing. We've got people going down the stairs here as well. Um, we should have done a rotation, warm. shouldn't we? Really? Yeah, we should do a rotation, yeah. Have you got a message, guys out there? Anything that you'd like to say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, are you out there? Yeah. You all right, mate? Everyone, oh, everyone's outside, chat. cold, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, <laughs> hang on, hang on. This is amazing. This is where it, I'm not on camera. Am I on camera? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> there he is. Hey Corbin, I've really missed you. How you been? Brilliant, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you glad I'm not there? You silly. What What are you doing? Uh, you're not watching this? Oh, yeah, I am, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. In the background. In the background, yeah, like most people. Okay, cool. Thanks, Corbin. It's so great to have you on. Okay, bye. He was actually nice to me then. Yeah, he was, yeah. <laughs> awesome to have Corbin on the show. Yes. For yes, a brief few minutes. Yes, absolutely awesome. Uh, I think there's a few more suggestions for Ian's. Uh, if he's got any career left I after hope all not. this, uh, drinking games still, master yeah. mouther, okay, uh, painter, gigolo, 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 ITV's new drifting show, that would yes. be a thing, wouldn't it? Uphill yes. Gardener, yeah. I don't know what that means. Um, there is the possibility of uh, people have said that you look a bit like a hobbit in some of these photos. No, that's I just think you. we could take the. Um, the, 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 the makeup aspect and the prosthetics to another level. Yeah, okay. Essentially. Um, I'm, not, I'm not scared. Let's, no, let's just let's go, do it. With it. Let's um, go with it. Let's go with it. Is it that you have been booked for RuPaul's Drag Race UK? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck has anyone found that out? I know. Did you sign an NDA as well? There's an you NDA. Having... You signed an NDA because you're actually judging it. Yeah. If you're at home thinking, which one is he? It's so good. Uh, I'm the one in the middle in the green dress. Can obviously. we just zoom it? There we go. <laughs> I mean, there this is are. this is not realistic because in my profile shot, I shaved the beard off. So, did you? Yeah. A bit grow back so quickly. And I had to tuck. You know, if you do the tuck. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
You look like that woman on British Showman. <laughs> you weren't complaining the other night when we was kissing. Oh, no. <laughs> I really admired your baubles. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not the first time I've heard that, to yeah. be honest with you. Yeah, just ready for Christmas. Yeah, very festive. Yeah. Uh, innovation has been uh, a common thread throughout this whole project. Of course, no one's ever done this before, and maybe no one ever will again, or some people might get a version of this in the future, of their own, like a kind of their own Navarra. Anyway, we'll come back to that. <laughs> innovation. <laughs> I don't need these guys. Innovation I don't has need been, these guys. Uh, innovation. It's been key. SB Motorsport <laughs> Plum Pub. Okay. What does it double up as though? You already know, don't you, that it's innovative. A Bagsy bath bomb. No <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, what? it's, it's just, housed. I've got one question. Yeah. What happens to the beard when the bomb <laughs> goes, you know, <laughs> Dis dissolves. What, does the beard just float? It, and the eyes, do they float? Well, the... this is why it, yeah, it's exfoliating. What do you do with the hat after? Well, this is the thing. Much like Bagsy, it's actually super glued to his head, so we don't know what's underneath. So it does, that doesn't come off. Um, that is fucking disturbing. <laughs> Innovation through and through. Yeah. Um, now, you... <laughs> Had a lot of work on with the back end. We're getting towards the climax. Yeah, we're reaching stage. it. We're reaching that part of the build. Yeah, but of course, to do that, you had to tackle the back end. We have, you always have to tackle the back before you get to the best part of the situation. Yeah, yeah. You know? And then you reach the your moment of finishing. You do, mm -hmm. you do. And it wasn't easy. No, no, it's never easy. It's never easy, you know. It's, no. You're a guy. No. You've got to you 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 finish too quick. You, you can't take finish too quick. You, you have to take most your time. Not only being paid by the, the job that you can. You know of course, I mean? yeah. You, you yeah. drag it out a little bit and, you know. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll be finished and no one's paying you to finish. Yeah. Of course, yeah. With, did you even know what they were doing when they were fanning around <laughs> at the back? No. To be honest, Ian spends far too long on the back. Yeah. When he should be concentrating on the front. Really? Yeah, I'm more of a back guy than a front guy. That's Is the problem. It? Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you know, I mean, you'll see by this, Ian really knows what he's doing around the back end. The biggest problem we had was trying to hold the subframe square to the truck at the right height and the right distance in the truck to match up with the wheel arches on the tub. We couldn't do it with axle stands. We couldn't do it with trolley jacks. It just kept moving around. Obviously, jacks got wheels on it, so it just kept skating around everywhere. So Corbin came up with the idea of why don't we hang the subframe on some framework so that we can then get it positioned, tack it in place, not the subframe, the frame, and it won't move, which it doesn't now. And then I said, well, why don't we use some of the spare holes, not spare holes, but manufactured holes in the subframe, put some 12 mil studding through with some nuts, so then we can raise and lower the subframe to the right height. This is dead center and dead square with a chassis, so that is the center line of the axles. That is the centre line of the subframe and the centre line of the truck. So now we know that when we levelled this subframe in place, it was exactly where we needed it to be. It was dead square both ways in the truck. And then just like that, Ben, like magic, the subframe is in the truck. If you were wondering why the fuck there's two bits welded into the chassis, that's because these upper A-arms obviously have to come up. There's also a pickup point on the hub for the coilover. Obviously that bit of standard chassis is well in the way. So what we've done was made these up because this is, we've got plenty of clearance. There's nothing underneath the tub that's going to get in the way. So we made, I made these up. We got them welded into the chassis. And then once I get the subframe mounts made and fixed to the chassis, these will get fully, fully welded in. And then that piece of the sh uh, chassis will get removed. Then we can build the strut tower. Bam, just like that. Four wheel drive, Nissan, GTR, running gear in a truck truck. Far more in depth than we usually go at this juncture, but remarkably you just strung those sentences together so it seemed rude to, to cut in and you were explaining, but that's the kind of thing we're gonna see on the new YouTube series as well. Yes, so uh, coming up next, or coming up soon even, uh, is a four part YouTube series uh, building the Navara from start to finish, I guess. Or maybe yeah. six parts, I don't know. It depends how much you Matt, charge me draw. to make the YouTube videos, I guess. And Ben. And uh, yeah, between four and six YouTube videos. 
on how to build the truck. A little bit more sensible look yeah. than yeah. this yeah. about building the Navara. Yeah, because it's genuinely fascinating how the problems were solved, how things were created underneath that bodywork that we're going to see at some stage. Hopefully. Yeah. But I'm sure you'll put some sort of weird twist on it, as you normally do. Th that's... I... I... Can, I... Take Can issue you play with a game? That. Can you play I'll a game? I'll take issue with that, but... Um, no. Um, no. Oh, they're, they're saying no more episodes of Horse or Horsepower, guys. I'm not, I'm not, mate. Go on, then. The, the bosses. Go on, then. Can one we more, get an one more game. Oh. No, he wants, he says, oh. he says, he says... Oh. He says oh. Okay, it's Horse or Horsepower. Horse or Horsepower. <laughs> And our contestants on this episode are Mr. Paul Smith and Mr. Martin Richards. <laughs> wow, that is drifting summed up there in that, that is, duo. That is literally UK drifting's pros. There you go. Or the OGs. OGs, the OGs yeah, OGs. The OGs. Grandfathers, Grandfathers of UK oh, drifting. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what's going to be funny? It's, it's, it's going, going to be funny next. the weekend when George kicks his ass kicked by a grandfather. I'm yeah. genuinely oh, excited to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Old versus new. In, honestly. Honestly. It might be uncomfortable, but who have you got your money out, out of those two? You boys, me. Martin Richards. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Martin Richards. My what, on this horse? No, horse no, 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 <laughs> no, not on the horse game. On, on, uh, on, on going Drift for, Carter. You're going for which one looks like a horse. Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I mean, if we're going for looks, <laughs> Martin won't beat me up for saying that Paul Smith is probably the most handsome man in UK drifting. <laughs> Unfortunately, he is. He is, he is, a, he is a, a lady killer. <laughs> that guy. But Martin Richards is a hero of mine, and he was the 2019 King of Riga. Thanks, mate. So Ooh. there we go. There we go. Yeah. I mean, you, you don't just win so King of Riga. <laughs> No one gives you King Ariga. You have to earn that shit, yeah. and, and he yeah. earned that shit. We, yeah. got, we had a good night that night, mate, didn't we? That was very good. Night. We, had we had a very good, good night. night that night. Yeah. Very bad. Sa Sam <laughs> doesn't remember it. <laughs> Again, another night he doesn't remember. <laughs> we had to yeah. carry him home that night as well. Yeah. <laughs> Every time we go out with Sam, he has to. Yeah, He's a liberty, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, there's a game that we're uh, <laughs> playing. Uh, there's two questions. Uh, it's fastest finger first. Um, so. Mine's oh, got fast fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to that shot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we missed it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you want to know what that's about? He, why Tune he, in why to. Why does he blow on it? Because yeah. it's a flute. It's a flute. Oh. Got it. You want to know what that's about? Tune in to literally every episode of uh, this live stream. Ever. Where I've disappointed Bagsy with some nonsense. <laughs> uh, okay, question number one Brian the Snail. But what, that's not a question, is it? Brian the Snail. There's going to be more. <laughs> well, the name of the game is Horse or Horsepower, so Horse or Horsepower. Brian's Brian the Snail. Oh, I know the answer to this. Horse. Horsepower. Wow. Okay, well, uh, Paul takes it. It is Horse. It's a horse, uh, yeah. He competed at the Stewards' Cup in Goodwood this year, this very year, 2020. Okay, Whee! so it's all to well, play I'm for. On with one question speak. left. You didn't know that, though, did you? <laughs> Gobstopper 2. Horse or horsepower? Horsepower. <laughs> horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> what a little buzzer noise. <laughs> uh, so we're tied on that one. Yes, of course, you are correct. It is from the Festival of Speed, the Hill Climb Shootout, where the winner was Ollie Clark in 2015 and 2016. Mm -hmm. And that was, uh, you'll know this, 46.23 seconds and uh, 44.91 seconds the year after. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, um, Paul Smith, the winner. The only winner. The only winner. Of, <laughs> yes. The only winner. the only winner of the last ever, ever episode of Horse or Horsepower. Horse or Horsepower. It's been good, hasn't it? It's been good. That was a special Goodwood game, so that's just a one-off. Uh, in, in closing, in closing, we're going to have a few moments for comments, but I just wanted to bring up, I think now, because um, you revealed 
the new renders. We had the exclusive on render version one. So we've got some renders that we can take a look at now of how the Navara R is going to look in action. Yeah, so this is the latest renders from our uh, styling and body kit partner, Sterling Automotive. Uh, they've come up with these amazing looking renders of what the truck's new body kit's going to look like. We're very excited to be taking delivery of the body kit very, very soon in the next couple of weeks mm -hmm. uh, for its first test fit. Uh, as long as everything goes according to plan, um, the body kit will then be produced uh, and several more versions will be produced after that for people to purchase. So if you fancy having your Navara look very much like mine, uh, Sterling Automotive are going to be making and producing that for people to purchase. How much wider is that than a standard Navara? Uh, Any idea? Not a lot actually. The rear is quite a lot wider than a standard Navara, but the front, believe it or not, is actually almost the same as a standard Navara. A GTR is almost the same width so as a standard it's Navara. It's kind of arrow shaped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the rear is, a, is quite a lot wider. Um, but we're going to widen the front. Obviously, we're going to be running some. Uh, Fuel wheels, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Is it fuel wheels on mm -hmm. the front of the, on, yeah. on all four corners of the Navara? So, yeah, um, we're going to widen it. Um, but, yeah, it's not actually, technically, much wider. Okay, okay. That's cool. And is it low enough for your liking? No. No. But I'll get over it. Never low Martin, enough. Martin, is it low enough for your liking? I was the other day. Yeah. As long as it doesn't get you know, raised. Last live thing we did. Uh, as long as it doesn't come up from that. But it's going to look totally different with the body on it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That is a great point, actually, the last life, uh, where we actually, things actually picked up pace when the coilovers arrived. That was a big moment. Mm -hmm. And we got the thing rolling under pressure, but it happened. Mm. We made it happen, didn't we? We did. Me and you got very involved we did. in watching these guys work hard. <laughs> yes. And uh, that's that compacted into a minute. By the end of this, it's either going to be triumphant, it's on its wheels, or it's going to snap in half. You've got to share that. What? No, I'm just trying to build it up. <laughs> Corbin, awesome. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. As a family, is it? I think you, you're all well, everything good. They are brand new. Like they're brand straight out of the packet new. tonight. So, yeah, we have not even tried these on the truck yet. Stop filming me, Ben. <laughs> so that side's bolted up now. We've got the brand new ST coilover mounted to the. GTR rear hub. Mate, this is like a work of art. Get the other side on, then we're ready for wheels. So, uh, be the first time that the truck will be on all four wheels on its own suspension. Ian, how are you feeling? Nervous. Oh. Oh. Wow. 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 Big moment there. It was very exciting. It was a big moment, big step. And uh, yeah, excited to uh, finally see the truck on all four wheels almost looking like it's ready to roll out of there. Yeah, and back to the grindstone on like Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday, progress is gonna resume. Yeah, if Ian turns up for work. Yeah. Well, I'll be there. Um, yeah. I might have be a little bit hungover, but I'll be there. Yeah, um, you can watch Ian and Bagsy all weekend on Speed Week. You can also comment on Bagsy's stream. You can comment and tell Bagsy and cheer him on Ian, I don't know, they can follow one wizard. Yeah, they can <laughs> follow me on social media. Yeah, um, yeah that, that's about it. I can't comment or can't do shout outs on national telly, unfortunately. Oh, it's just got to say Plum Bomb, though. <laughs> we are going to say Plum Bomb. Got to say Plum Bomb. I will try and get Plum Bob in there. Um, He's going to try and get Plum Bob in. I will try great. and get Plum Bob in there. Pile the pressure on and maybe it will happen. Um, how are we doing over there? Just some final thoughts from you guys at home via the help desk over in the green room. <laughs> What's going have, uh, on? I, Something's happening. I've actually got there. three questions for you, and this is one. Is We've from, only got time for one. No, no, you need three. Um, from Teresa, <laughs> Ian, do you want some of my underwear? <laughs> oh, uh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a very awkward uh, question. Uh, He's a married we, man. We'll, we can no, move on. That. No would be my answer to that. <laughs> very like that. that. And also, Ian, another question for you. Uh, what did you find harder working on, the GTR project itself or the Navara project? Uh, oh, do you know, that's actually a really good question. Um, I'm going to say the Navara project uh, is harder, of that guy. but more fun. The, the GTR was 
hard but very very stressful because we had such a limited time frame we literally mm. built me and corbin and a couple of other guys built that car in two months dead so that was very very stressful and we we had a deadline to get to we had to make filming for uh, uh battle drift so we we had to be there there was no if buts or maybes we're with the navara we're pretty flexible i think we've set our goals for festival of speed 2021 to be the unveiling or you know around that sort of time but yeah and uh, the navara i was going to say is much was much harder but. and a last question for Ian uh, what is your next job uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't give up on that question I'm not going to say I think you should tell everyone no I'm not no, I'm you not should. telling anyone honestly I no. think you should tell everyone no. it's only right have your moment I'm going to step out for a second this you is have your, your moment you have your moment go on Ian go on go This is your moment. <laughs> you, you, you can look at me as much as you want. And you know, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. And that's it. That's the end of the project of RR <laughs> from me and no one else. <laughs> <laughs> So on that note, I think we bid you farewell. Thanks for joining us from Goodwood uh, Speed Week. Stay tuned to these guys all over the weekend. Yeah, uh, I'm guessing mine and Bagsy's social media are going to be pretty ram-packed, uh, Instagram especially, so yeah. So keep follow a hold along. Thanks to the guys in the green room. Yay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and the outside green room. Could be that the winner of the first ever Goodwood Speed Week, Drift Kana winner, is amongst us. Only Ian can decide. But uh, until then, we'll see you next month on the Navara Our Life project. See you later. Bye. I'm the best. It took you four days to make them. Tell me so I'm the best. If they didn't fit, I'd be pretty good. Tell me I'm the best. Do you know what is boring? Waiting for you to do something. Shut up, mate! It's like a pencil with no lead now. You're living the dream. No, let me rephrase that, Corbin. We're, We're living the dream. Living the dream.